Hello, this is a pace setter training video on how to use the annotation tools in the photos module of Xactimate. Uh, we have another training video on general use of photos in Xactimate on how to import order your photos and label photos. If you haven't seen that, we highly recommend that you take a look at that video. It's got a lot of great information uh, and tricks of the trade on how to do photos properly uh, at an advanced level in Xactimate. So let's take a look at this real quick. These are some great little tools. Basically, they're drawing tools and typing tools that you can use in photos to give a little bit more information and explain something a little bit better in a photo. So let's pull some photos in. I'm going to go to load images. It'll select all these photos that I have in a little test folder. And let's try this this photo right here. So we don't have any tools until we open up the photo and get into the zoomed view of the photo. So let's double click on the photo and then you'll see some different tools in a toolbar up here. So this is your pointer tool while you're here in this view. This is the undo or remove an annotation. An annotation is just one of the tools that we're using. So if you draw a line and you want to undo that, you can do the click on the remove and click on the the little drawing, it'll undo it, or you can undo all. Or you can also uh, undo the last operation. It's different ways to do it. Um, this is drawing a line, drawing an arrow, an ellipse, rectangles and squares, text. We select on T, click, in the field, then click again inside, we'll get a blinking cursor so we can type in here. Now keep in mind if you're on the text tool and you've typed and you're done typing, if you click away when you're still on the text tool, it's going to open up another text box. If you do not want that, we'll undo this. If you're done and you don't want that, click away from the text tool on the pointer tool. And now I can click on this, resize it, because you may be typing more than one word. Maybe it won't all fit in there, so you can make it bigger so all the text will fit. Or you can select inside and hold and you can drag this around and move the text where you want it on the photo. These next plus and minuses are zoom in and zoom out. The little hand tool is if you're zoomed in, it allows you to move around in a zoomed area. And then these are the two rotate tools. So this would rotate everything. Okay, so let's undo all and see how we might want to use this. So let's say we had some groundwater from a storm that came in. The insured tells you the water came flowing up under this door all evening and it full, filled up on the landing and went down the basement and damaged the basement. So we're probably going to deny that damage just because it's groundwater. But we want to, in this photo, explain to everybody a little bit about what happened and where the water came from and what's going on. So we could go to the photo, select our arrow tool, and do something like this. As long as you're selected on the same tool, you can keep drawing arrows, drawing, drawing lines or circles, whatever you want. So we're kind of indicating where the water came from. Then we want to type on our text tool, click in the field, then click again in the box. I said groundwater came from under exterior door. Now you can see it's we can't see all that text. Remember, we can click away to, to the different tool. That's the pointer tool. Click on the text box so we can highlight it with handles, and then we can grab these handles. We can do it in different shapes. We can go way out here and make it one line. We can make it three lines, two lines, however you want to do it. And then we can click and hold inside the text box and move it around wherever we want it. 
So that's an example of how you might use some of those annotation tools. But let's say you want to change some of the colors and the shape, sizes and all, you can do that as well. So let's undo all. You're going to do that here in this little icon. It's the little gear settings icon. Let's click on that. This allows you to change the type of the font. You have three options. The size of the font. The color of the font. So let's make this, for instance, we'll make it a, eh, let's make it blue. This lets you make changes to the shapes, the arrows, the ellipses, the squares. So we can change the thickness to thick to thin, the stroke color, and the opacity is the how, how transparent the drawing is. You can leave that as default usually. So let's go back and do the same thing with the new colors. Here's our arrows. So we're a little bit thicker in a different color. And we go to our text tool, click to select, get a box going, click in the box. Now we can type. And we have our blue text. Remember, we're going to resize that. So we want to click away from the text tool onto the move or resizing tool, select the text area where we get our handles, and then we can drag the handles. If we want to move the text box, click and hold in the text box. Of course, that's not the greatest color unless we move it down here but white was probably better, but you get the idea. So that is a very powerful tool that you can use, but there's a couple of other last things I want to point out that's very, very important. Let's go to another photo here. We're going to leave this here. Let's go outside. We're going to go back. Another uh, way you can use this tool. And let's say, let's try this photo here. Let's rotate this. This is some fascia. So let's say that you took this picture when you were out at the risk and you saw some damage, some hail on the face. It was small, dense. Maybe you didn't chalk it. It's always a good idea to chalk metal, uh, make sure it shows up in photos. Uh, but let's say you forgot to do that and then you get back and you can barely see a dent or two in here. Let's say it was something like this right here. I don't know if you, if you can see this. It's probably not a dent. It looks like a scratch. But let's Let's just pretend that this dent was not there. And let's say this is a little dent, but you could barely see it. And a file reviewer, somebody else that didn't know it wasn't chalk, we couldn't tell, they may look at it and go, well, I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at. I'm assuming the adjuster is showing me damage here. Maybe here's another one right here, this little dark spot. I don't know. That is not a photo you want to send in. Again, you may want to use your annotation tools to help point that out. So let's do that. Again, in this case, maybe you just want to use an arrow and point to that. You could use a circle. Something like that. And then, of course, down here in your image name, you would label it something like hail damage to metal fascia on the back or something like that. So we know it's metal patient, it's damaged, it's hell, and you're trying to point out. Again, the best way to do this is take better photos in the field. Make sure you're getting good damage shots that clearly show the damage on any material. If it's metal, chalk the metal. Get different colors, chalk. Again, you wouldn't want to chalk white fascia with white or yellow or pastel colored chalks. Find some chalk that you can buy that has some darker colors, some dark browns or grays. That would be used on lighter colored metals like this. It's great. Shows up great. So we have some photos here with some annotations on it. But one thing you want to be aware of is let's go out of this and let's look at the photo sheet. Okay, so we're going to go to Documents, Reports. And I have the images already selected here under the print options. This is what is going to be uploaded and the file reviewer is going to look at when they do their file review. So let's go look at those photos real quick. Let's find that one. I'll have to scroll through. Oh, 
So now it's showing up. There's our annotations. Okay, great. However, what I want to make you aware of is those are only showing up because there's a setting that I have set in my Xactimate for this profile for American Family, and that is under Images. It's this setting right here, Print Image Annotations. You normally only have to set this once in a claim per profile. If you're in an American Family Profile claim, go set this. It should keep that. If you're in a home site claim in the home site profile, in one of those claims, you should be able to just select this once, but you, at least you know where it is and you can go check it if you need to. And here's what happens if this is unchecked. Let's go back and look at it again. If you'll notice, the annotations are gone. It's not showing all of your drawing annotations. You've got them in Xactimate, and they're there. But because we have this setting that says print image annotations, and that box is unchecked, it will not show those on the photo report. So if you draw anything, make sure that you have that box checked. And the way to get to that is under Documents, Reports, and it would be under Images. You have to make sure that your images box is checked here first, okay? Because if you don't have the images box checked, you won't have any image options to check. So just make sure that your images options are checked under your print options here, and then go to the images tab, make sure that's checked, and you will be good to go. The last thing I want to point out to you is probably something you already know, but just a reminder is in your photos, once you get all your photos done and ordered and labeled properly and annotated how you want to do it and they look great, please make sure that you always, when you're done, go up and select the read number your photos. As you can see right now, this photo is starting out at 476 to 531. That is not a good photo sheet. Let's renumber those photos and it resequences all the photos starting at number one. I hope that helps you. If you have any questions on this or anything else uh, running claims with Paysetter, please call your account manager or your claim supervisor and we will be more than happy to help you. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.